Hello friends, in this video I'd like to solve the following problem from the International Mathematical Olympiad 1966 long listed problem 46 proposed by Yugoslavia. We wish to prove that uh, the absolute value of the absolute value of a minus b over the absolute value of a b plus a plus b over a b minus 2 times 2 over c plus uh, uh, the absolute value of a minus b over the absolute value of a b plus a plus b over a b plus 2 times c 2 over c rather equals 4 times the maximum of 1 over a 1 over b 1 over c for all non-zero real numbers a b and c so here are my hints for this problem first notice this basic law of uh, the absolute values that the absolute value of x over the absolute value of y is the same as the absolute value of x over y and notice that our expression is symmetric with respect to a and b, so we can assume without loss of generality that 1 over a is less than or equal 1 over b. And finally, consider two cases. Either 1 over b is less than or equal 1 over c, or 1 over b is strictly greater than 1 over c. We'll give this problem a try. All right. All right, so, uh, so let's take our expression and let's call it f of a, b, c. So let f of a, b, c be equal, well, our expression. B or C. All right. Notice that then we can do the following. F of ABC. First of all, we can write under our first uh, absolute value, we can write the absolute value of A minus B over AB plus A plus B over AB minus 2 times C plus the absolute value of a minus b over a b plus a plus b over a b plus 2 over c. Now, what can we do? Notice that the first, this fraction can be split. It is 1 over b minus 1 over a. The second fraction is 1 over b plus 1 over a minus 2 over c plus... 1 over b minus 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over a plus 2 over c. All right, and now let's take a look. It can be easily seen that our uh, expression is completely symmetric with respect to a and b because of the absolute value. The absolute value of x is the same as the absolute value of minus x. So without loss of generality, Let's suppose that 1 over a is less than or equal 1 over b. Then, notice that then our function f of abc, we can write in it in the following way. 1 over b minus 1 over a plus 1 over b minus plus 1 over a minus 2 over c plus 1 over b minus 1 over a plus 1 over b plus 1 over a plus 2 over c. And now, minus 1 over a plus 1 over a cancels. Minus 1 over a, 1 over a, it cancels as well. So we have what? We can put 2 out, or maybe not. Let's don't put 2 outside. We have 2 over b minus 2 over c plus uh, 2 over b plus 2 over c. And now we can notice the symmetry once again with respect to a and b, and we will consider two cases. Case number one, if, if 1 over b is less than or equal 1 over c, 
then notice that then f of abc is uh, what is 2 over c minus 2 over b plus 2 over b plus 2 over c so it's 4 over c and it turns out because notice that 1 over c is both greater than or equal to 1 over b and 1 over a so it is the same as 4 times the maximum of 1 over a 1 over b 1 over c and in the second case in the second case if, if 1 over b is strictly greater than 1 over c then our function our expression f of abc equals 2 over b minus 2 over c plus 2 over b minus 2 over c which is 4 over b and again it turns out that it is the maximum four times the maximum of 1 over a 1 over b 1 over c and this closes our proof proof in every case our function equals four times the maximum of one over a one over b one over c pretty pretty little problem i'd say uh, so yes thank you very much for watching i hope that you've learned something new this time and i will see you next time goodbye